Nowadays, wastewater treatment plants are large, complex facilities that use multiple technologies to remove up to 99% of all pollutants in wastewater. Our standards for clean water are continuously rising, and not one day passes by without new innovations for wastewater treatment. But wastewater treatment was not always this advanced. So let's have a look at when the first wastewater treatment plant was invented and which steps it took to develop today's wastewater standards. Early water treatment was primarily focused on the aesthetic properties of water, taste and odour. The first simple wastewater treatment process was found in writings from ancient Greece around 1500 BC. The findings indicate that boiling and filtering water through charcoal were used along with exposing the water to sunlight and straining. At the same time, the ancient Egyptians were the first people to separate clean water from its contaminants through the use of coagulants, such as alum. Alum is positively charged and attracts therefore negatively charged particles in the water. Over time, alum and particles form bigger flocks that settle down. Proofs of this early technology were found on the tomb of Ramesses II. The right person in the picture is adding alum to the water tank, whereas the second person on the left is blowing into a tube to ensure a good water mixing and he's leading cleaned water into a boiler. Alum is still a commonly used coagulant in modern wastewater treatment. Many years later, in 500 BC, the first water filter, the Hippocratic Sleeve, was invented. The Hippocratic Sleeve was a piece of fabric which filtered boiled water in order to remove sediments. The name of the filter fabric was given by its inventor, Hippocrates, the ancient Greek physician. With growing civilizations and expanding cities, natural waterways became less and less sufficient for water supply. Therefore, the Romans invented in 200 BC the first sewer system called aqueducts to transport water from one area of plentiful supply to areas of high population. Aqueducts were revolutionary and the foundation for bigger cities. 1,000 years later in the Middle Ages, water treatment hadn't made any significant improvements, but even worse, through the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, many aqueducts were destroyed and the future of water seemed bleak. It took many more years, as well as pandemics such as the Black Death in the late 1400s, until major steps could be taken to prove the importance of clean water. Finally, in the early 17th century, experiments for wastewater treatment became more and more important. In 1627, Sir Francis Bacon made the first discoveries of desalination, which set the scene for future experiments. In 1676, Van Leeuwenhoek was the first scientist to record microorganisms in water treatment. The first wastewater treatment plant was introduced in the early 18th century by Robert Tom in Scotland. The plant used slow sand filters for water purification and distributed the water through an early sewer system to everyone within the city limits of Paisley. Water was entering the plant through a bed of earth and stones into a sedimentation basin. Within the sedimentation basin, particle settling was accelerated by forming bigger particle flocks with the help of coagulants and flocculants. Afterwards, finer particles were filtered out in a gravel filter and slow sand filters before water was stored in a clear well basin. Soon after Thomas' first construction of a wastewater treatment plant, the idea spread over the whole UK and later to Europe. In 1854, chlorine disinfection treatment was added to WWTPs as a solution against the increasing number of cholera infections spread through sewer pipes. The industrialization, population growth and agricultural developments in the beginning of the 20th century possessed new challenges for wastewater treatment. The existing filter and sedimentation technologies were not suitable to handle increasing BOD and ammonia levels. Therefore, in 1913, biological wastewater treatment, the activated sludge process, was invented by Arden and Lockett. In the following years, several tests of the new technology were performed until the first activated sludge plant was built in Stockport, UK, in 1920. The basic principle behind all activated sludge processes until today is to cultivate certain microorganisms that consume organic waste and oxidize ammonium to nitrate and nitrite. 
The following years until the 1970s are characterized by the development of improved biological treatment processes such as SBRs and CBRs, oxidization ditches and fixed bed film media technologies like trickling filters. After 1970, new technologies were developed for removal of phosphorus, pesticides and other harmful chemicals, e.g. reverse osmosis in 1980, UV filtration and others. Nowadays, one of the biggest challenges for industrialized countries are increasing hormone levels found in wastewater, but also the need for energy reductions and smaller footprints. The global population growth and development of megacities demands continuous improvements for today's wastewater treatment facilities. Thanks for watching, and if you like our 3-minute tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up.